FX Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And let's jump into the charts, guys, and let's take a look at uh, some of the setups that were available today uh, that I took. As you know, yesterday we talked about having uh, the Euro news today. So, of course, there was no trades at all that I took today on Euro. Uh, there was only three trades uh, that were available for me specifically today. Uh, the first one was a pound Swiss, and this was all during uh, London session. If we go back, I can show you where the uh, where the entry was here. So what do we have here? We're coming off of peak formation high uh, from all the way up here. So I'm looking for cells only, and what do we get? We end up getting um, almost like a hybrid of a type 1, type 2 setup where you have the first leg here it gives us a railroad track that pins to the 200 EMA and then we end up getting uh, a second leg here now for me the second leg um, was actually this candle over here so right here this red candle uh, for me was the second leg um, this was a railroad track for me uh, of the second leg and then I waited for the next candle which was a pullback candle. The pullback candle provided uh, the actual entry uh, so the entry itself was right there and then we ended up having about 10 pips of a, uh, of a stop loss. Now as far as the take profit goes, take profit for me was pretty simple. Anything over 2 to 1 risk reward ratio would work. Um, in this case, I just literally decided to go just to the bottom of the Asian range, which gave us about, you know, two and a half, over two and a half to one risk reward ratio. Um, this trade worked out very well for us. We were in our directional bias. We had some confirmation with the pattern, the timing, uh, it pinning to the 200 EMA as well. Um, and we did have divergence as well on the TDI. So all the confirmations were there. So very simple, straightforward uh, type of trade set up for me. Uh, the next one was USD JPY. Again, we're coming off a of peak formation high from last week, so I'm only looking for sells. So in this case, we ended up getting a, um, a sell setup as a type 3. Um, so type 3 was the, uh, the sell setup here, as we can see. The first leg, typically on type 3s, we most of the time get only one leg. Um, so I was actually very surprised uh, that we ended up getting a second leg here because when I was looking at this trade to go into the trade here really wasn't viable too much for me because I didn't want to risk that much on this particular trade. Um, so it wasn't, this wasn't suitable for me. Um, I wanted to wait uh, for possibly a better uh, entry or, or better opportunity. Uh, so luckily we did end up getting a second leg with a railroad track and that actually was uh, the entry. So right after the railroad track gave us uh, the entry. So the risk itself was only 7 pips and obviously we didn't have the EMAs in our favor so we couldn't use that um, as a take profit. So I just did the next best thing which was look to the left and go to the closest structure which is essentially these lows from yesterday. Um, so that's what I did. So it ended up being about a 3 to 1 risk to ward ratio um, on this particular trade. Again, TDI is confirming with the bouncing off the 50. You had um, second leg railroad track as the pattern. Type 3, the timing is all correct. 50 EMA is running straight through price. So you know that's acting as a form of resistance. Um, so everything, again, was just there and it checked off correctly for me. Uh, the last trade was on gold. Again, we're coming off of a peak formation low reset uh, from last week. And so I was only looking uh, for buy options, and we ended up getting one buy option here. Um, in the London session, type 3 setup, um, as you can see, we ended up getting a star pattern here, and the entry essentially was right after the star pattern, 
right after this blue candle here. Um, the stop loss went right below the low, acting as uh, the 200 uh, EMA, basically like a protector. Um, so that's where the stop loss went. And then again, we just wanted to get a two to one risk reward ratio on this. And we ended up getting a, a, a 2.29 to one risk reward ratio on it. Um, and that was really it. It was really just that simple. So three really simple trades um, out of all of these, because all of these, when I looked at them, they really didn't have anything that I want, especially the Euro pairs, since they were doing new stuff. I wasn't even going to, you know, attempt to, uh, to trade those at all. Uh, the other pairs didn't have anything either with my bias direction or just the pattern was just not clear enough for me to trade. Um, so again, I'm only looking for very specific trade setups. I'm only willing to risk my money for the best possible trades. Um, and that's, it's just as simple as that. So if there were no trades today, there would have been no trades today. It, it, to me, it doesn't matter. Uh, the most important thing to me that matters is finding the right setup that meets all of my rules and requirements that are in my trading plan. If you guys aren't using trading plans or if you've never done one before, I highly recommend that you do so. And I highly recommend that you journal every single trade that you take, whether it's a win or whether it's a loss. There's so much data that you can gather by journaling your trades and also just most importantly, just having a trading plan in place. All right. So guys, I hope this short video uh, brought you some value as far as the setups that were available for me to take today. What setups did you take today? Let me know in the comments below what different setups uh, were you able to take today. Did you trade any news today during Euro? Um, what else happened uh, as far as trade setups that you saw that I may have missed on different pairs that I don't have on my list? You know, maybe you guys trade on, you know, I don't know, NZD JPY or AUD JPY or something. Um, and there were some nice setups on those pairs. But guys, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you need any help, join us on FXM Plus. We'll be more than happy to help you. You guys have a good evening and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.